Hi, in this video we'll learn how to subtract a fraction from a whole number. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to convert this whole number in the form of a fraction. Well, how do we write one whole in the form of a fraction? Let's say if you have a 5 over 5, you can simplify that to 1 since 5 divided by 5 is 1. So when you have the same top number and the same bottom number, you can simplify that to 1. So the same thing we're going to do over here, we can write 1 as 2 over 2, 3 over 3, 4 over 4, 5 over 5, and so on. But here, I'm going to write 1 as 9 over 9. And I'll tell you the reason in a bit. So 1 is 9 over 9, and then we have the minus sign in the middle, and then 5 9s. Now, why did I choose 9? The reason is because I want to have the common denominator. See, this will not make sense if I take this as 5 over 5, or 3 over 3, or 4 over 4. Because let's say if I have a 4 over 4, and if I need to subtract 5 9s, um, then how can I do that? Because I don't have a common denominator, then I'll have to find the common denominator in order to subtract these fractions, and this will make the problem more trickier. So that's why I have converted, I have written 1 as 9 over 9. You have to make sure that you should have the common denominator. So you're going to use the denominator over here to change your one whole in the form of a fraction. Now, this is very simple. All we need to do is to subtract the numerator since we have the common denominator. So remember that we don't change the denominator, so the denominator will remain 9, and then we can subtract the numerator. So 9 minus 5 will give us 4. And since we cannot simplify this fraction anymore, we cannot reduce this fraction anymore, our final answer would be 4 9s. Now let's take a look at another example. Let's say if I have 6 take away 1 half. Now you're going to tell me that this is very simple because 6 take away 1 half is 5 and halves. But how do we do the math? How do we get 5 and half? We need to show the process. So again, we're going to use the regrouping method in this. So the first thing we need to do is to regroup our whole number. We're going to regroup our whole number. Uh, so we have 6, and we're going to write that as 5 plus 1. And I can do that because I didn't change the value of 6. 6 is still 6 because 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. And then we have take away 1 half from it. Okay. Now the next step is we're going to write your whole number 1 in the form of fraction like we did in the previous example. So we could write 1 as 2 over 2. We could write 1 as 3 over 3, 4 over 4, 5 over 5. Any fraction that has the same top and bottom will give us 1. So since I want to find the common denominator, we should have the common denominators. I have a denominator of 2 here, right? So we should get 2. We must get 2 in the denominator. So that's why I'll write this one whole as 2 over 2. So here we're going to write 5 as it is plus I'll write one whole as 2 over 2. Then we have take away 1 half. And you can see that I have like denominators here. So now we can subtract the fractions. I can subtract 1 half from 2 over 2. So we're going to leave 5 as it is. And then 2 over 2 minus 1 half is equal to 1 half. So this will be plus 1 half. We subtracted the fractions, leaving the whole number as it is. Now 5 plus 1 half, I can write this in the form of a mixed fraction. 5 plus 1 half will give me 5 and a half. So this is how I got 5 and a half. I mean, definitely you can do the math in your head. But when you have a fraction like, a, like let's say if you have 3 sevenths, or let's say if you have... Uh, four nines, you wouldn't be able to do the, the math in your head. So I hope you find this video helpful. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.